Hi, I'm Serena, a business analytics coach with Lodestar Solutions. And today I'd like to tell you how to simplify your TM1 model using the great functionality of attributes and aliases. So what is an attribute? Well, if elements identify data in your cube, then you could think of the element attributes as describing the elements themselves. It's that simple. Attributes can format your data similar to Excel, they can be text or numeric, they can be used in calculations, and they can be created and maintained several different ways. This can be done manually, loaded from source data if available, and they can even be derived. You can also use a pick list text attribute for an element as a way to validate data input. An alias is another type of attribute that's very helpful in TM1. It allows you to have an alternate element name, you can have an unlimited number of aliases, data can be loaded matching on the alias name, an alias does require the same uniqueness as the principal element name, and an alias name can be changed at any time. For more about attributes and aliases, we'd love to share with you the full free online video. To learn more about this topic, or to gain access to our private training videos concerning preparation, considerations, and tips on moving from Cognos Planning to TM1, please visit and register at movetotm1.com. Once you register with your name and email, you receive an immediate response which contains a link which you must click to be officially registered. Please note that if you didn't receive this immediate response, it may have fallen into your spam folder. Once you click that link to get officially registered, you will receive back an email which contains the access link for the exclusive library of videos from Lodestar Solutions. If you would like to contact Lodestar Solutions directly, feel free to email us at sales at lodestarsolutions.com.